The universe operates on principles that often defy our everyday intuition. From the vastness of galaxies to the minuscule particles that make up everything around us, the cosmos is a realm of endless wonder and complexity. One such realm is the quantum realm, a domain so small and so strange that it challenges our very understanding of reality. In this subatomic world, the familiar rules of classical physics break down, giving way to phenomena that seem almost magical. Here, particles behave in ways that are completely counterintuitive, defying the logic that governs our macroscopic world. In this strange and wonderful domain, particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, a phenomenon known as superposition. Imagine a world where a single particle can be in two places at once, or spin in two directions simultaneously. This is the essence of superposition. They can also be intertwined in a way that links their fates even across vast distances, a concept called entanglement. When particles become entangled, the state of one instantly influences the state of the other, no matter how far apart they are. This mysterious connection has puzzled scientists for decades. These bizarre quantum phenomena, once the subject of philosophical debate, are now being harnessed to build a new breed of computers quantum computers. These machines promise to revolutionize the way we process information, solving problems that are currently beyond the reach of even the most powerful classical computers. At the heart of this technological revolution lie quantum gates and circuits. These are the fundamental components that make quantum computing possible, enabling us to manipulate and control the strange behaviors of quantum particles. Just as transistors form the backbone of classical computers, manipulating bits to process information, quantum gates are the fundamental building blocks of quantum computers. They allow us to perform operations on quantum bits, or qubits, which are the quantum counterparts of classical bits. These gates act upon quantum bits or qubits, the quantum counterparts of classical bits. Qubits are unique in that they can exist in a superposition of both 0 and 1 simultaneously, exponentially expanding computational possibilities. Unlike classical bits, which can be either 0 or 1, qubits can exist in a superposition of both states simultaneously, exponentially expanding computational possibilities. This means that quantum computers can process a vast amount of information in parallel, making them incredibly powerful. Quantum gates, much like logic gates in classical computing, manipulate these qubits, changing their states and entangling them to perform operations. By carefully controlling these operations we can create complex quantum circuits that perform specific tasks. These operations, when combined in intricate sequences, form quantum circuits, the blueprints of quantum algorithms. These algorithms are designed to take advantage of the unique properties of quantum mechanics, solving problems that are intractable for classical computers. These algorithms hold the potential to revolutionize fields like medicine, material science, and artificial intelligence by solving problems that are intractable for even the most powerful classical computers. For example, they could help us design new drugs, create advanced materials, and develop more intelligent AI systems. Join me now on a journey into the fascinating world of quantum gates and circuits, where we'll unravel the mysteries of these fundamental components and explore how they are poised to shape the future of computation. Together, we'll delve into the science behind quantum computing and discover the incredible potential it holds for transforming our world. Before we delve into the intricacies of quantum gates, let's first acquaint ourselves with the protagonists of this quantum drama qubits. These tiny quantum bits are the fundamental units of information in a quantum computer, much like classical bits in a traditional computer. However, qubits are far more versatile and powerful. In the classical realm, information is encoded in bits, which can be either 0 or 1. This binary system is the backbone of all classical computing, from the simplest calculators to the most advanced supercomputers. Each bit is a binary digit, representing a state of either 0 or 1 much like a switch that can be either off or on. Like a light switch that's either on or off, classical bits are limited to these two distinct states. This simplicity is both a strength and a limitation, as it restricts the amount of information that can be processed at any given time. Qubits, on the other hand, are more like dimmer switches, capable of existing in a superposition of both zero and one states simultaneously. This means that a qubit can represent a multitude of states at once, vastly increasing the potential for information processing. Imagine a spinning coin, suspended in mid-air before it lands. This is a useful analogy for understanding superposition. 
While the coin is spinning, it is neither heads nor tails but rather a combination of both. It's neither heads nor tails but rather a blurry combination of both. This is the essence of superposition. A qubit can be in a weighted combination of states, with the weights determining the probability of measuring it in one state or the other. That's the essence of superposition. A qubit can be in a weighted combination of states with the weights determining the probability of measuring it in one state or the other. This probabilistic nature is what makes quantum computing so powerful and yet so different from classical computing. This ability to inhabit multiple states at once is what grants quantum computers their immense computational power. By leveraging superposition, quantum computers can perform many calculations simultaneously, exploring a vast computational space that classical computers cannot access. Mathematically, a qubit state is represented by a vector in a two-dimensional complex vector space. This vector can point in any direction, representing a superposition of the basis states. Don't let the jargon scare you. Simply put, it's like describing a point on a plane using two coordinates. These coordinates define the state of the qubit in this abstract space. The state of a qubit can be represented as a linear combination of two basis states, often denoted as 0 and 1. These basis states are the quantum equivalent of the classical binary states. The coefficients of these basis states are complex numbers that encode the probabilities and phases associated with each state. These complex numbers are crucial for the quantum algorithms that harness the power of qubits. This unique property of qubits, their ability to exist in superposition, forms the bedrock of quantum computation. It allows quantum computers to process a vast amount of information simultaneously, making them exponentially more powerful than classical computers for certain tasks. It allows quantum computers to explore a vast computational space, exponentially larger than what's accessible to classical computers, opening up avenues to solving problems that have long been deemed impossible. This new era of quantum computing holds the promise of revolutionizing fields such as cryptography, material science, and artificial intelligence, among others. In the realm of classical computing, logic gates reign supreme. These electronic circuits, with their AND, Oregon, and NOT gates, manipulate bits, transforming zeros and ones to carry out computations. In the quantum world, quantum gates play an analogous role, acting as the architects of quantum transformations. These gates, represented by mathematical operators, manipulate qubits, changing their states and entangling them to perform specific operations. Just as a sculptor molds clay into intricate shapes, quantum gates mold the states of qubits, shaping them into forms that encode information and facilitate computation. Each gate performs a unique transformation, altering the probabilities and phases associated with the qubit's state. These transformations are not arbitrary, they are governed by the laws of quantum mechanics, ensuring that the qubit state remains within the bounds of the quantum realm. Quantum gates can be classified into single qubit gates, which operate on a single qubit at a time, and multi-qubit gates, which entangle two or more qubits. Single qubit gates, like the poly X, poly Y, and poly Z gates, act as the fundamental building blocks, performing basic rotations on the qubit state. Multi-qubit gates, such as the C and not gate, entangle qubits, creating correlations between their states, a phenomenon that lies at the heart of quantum computation's power. These gates, when combined in intricate sequences, form quantum circuits, the blueprints of quantum algorithms. By carefully orchestrating the application of these gates, we can manipulate qubits with exquisite precision, transforming their states and entangling them to perform complex computations. In the quantum world, the Pauli gates, named after the renowned physicist Wolfgang Pauli, stand as the guardians of transformation, dictating how qubits transform under specific operations. These gates are fundamental to the manipulation of quantum information, serving as the building blocks for more complex quantum algorithms and protocols. This trio of gates, the Pauli X, Pauli Y, and Pauli Z gates, forms the bedrock of single qubit operations, acting as the quantum counterparts of the NOT gate in classical computing. Each gate has a unique role and effect on the qubit's state, making them indispensable tools in the quantum computing toolkit. The poly X gate, often referred to as the quantum NOT gate, flips the state of a qubit. This means that if a qubit is in the state zero, applying the poly X gate will transform it to the state one tolerers, and vice versa. This operation is analogous to flipping a classical bit from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0. Apply it to a qubit in the 0 state and it transforms into the 1 state and vice versa. 
This simple yet powerful operation is crucial for many quantum algorithms, enabling the basic manipulation of quantum information. Imagine flipping a coin from heads to tails. That's the essence of the Pauli X gates action. Just as a coin flip changes the state from heads to tails, the Pauli X gate changes the qubit state from 0 to 1, or from 1 to 0. The Pauli Y gate, a bit more subtle in its operation, introduces a phase shift while flipping the qubit state. This means that not only does it change the state of the qubit, but it also alters the phase, adding a layer of complexity to the transformation. Think of it as flipping the coin and giving it a twist. It's still a flip, but with an added layer of complexity. This phase shift is crucial in many quantum algorithms, where the relative phase between qubit states can affect the outcome of computations. The Pauli Z gate, the final member of this quantum triumvirate, leaves the zero state untouched but flips the sign of the one. State, introducing a relative phase between the two basis states. This operation is akin to marking one side of a coin. The flip remains the same, but the outcome carries a different meaning due to the phase shift. It's like marking one side of the coin. The flip remains the same, but the outcome carries a different meaning. This phase shift is essential in quantum algorithms that rely on interference and superposition. These three gates, the Pauli X, Pauli Y, and Pauli Z gates, form the cornerstone of single qubit operations, allowing us to manipulate the state of a single qubit with precision. By combining these gates, we can perform a wide range of quantum operations, from simple state flips to complex transformations involving phase shifts. They are represented by matrices, mathematical objects that encapsulate their actions on the qubit's state. These matrices are fundamental in quantum mechanics, providing a compact and powerful way to describe the transformations induced by the Pauli gates. These matrices act as operators, transforming the qubit state vector according to the rules of linear algebra. Understanding these transformations is key to mastering quantum computing as they form the basis for more advanced quantum operations and algorithms.